Hello again viewers, we are in Prataris, Cyprus. How expensive is it? Let's check out some of the bars just before it gets really busy on the strip. Once it gets busy, it'll be loud. I might be struggling to show you, but let's go. Behind me is Mikel Coffee. We've got one in Ayanapa. It's an interesting twist. They've got another video on that. If I remember at the end, I'll leave a wee link to it up there. Let's go check out some of the bars. How much is a cocktail in Happier? How much is a pint? What's the food menus? Let's go. Okay, so we're at the start of the strip. I've done quite a few videos showing you all the entertainment on offer at the Ghetto Bar and across here at Sphinx. It's lovely in there. Uh, really nice bar inside. Massive. They've got Las Vegas dancers on tonight at midnight. Might go back there, viewers. Might be the only way to get to Vegas this year. Wait and see. Ripples uh, there as well. Around the corner, we've got the Nameless Bar. It's open all year round as well. So this is just the start of the strip. Done videos showing you all these places if it's through the entertainment, depending on see what you like. So I thought I'd show you some of the affordable options as we get down further on the strip, okay? So we've got the Oscar Re Restaurant Mediterranean. We'll go over there with a wee quick look at the menu. If you're really on a budget and in a hurry, you've got McDonald's there as well, okay? You're on holiday, do whatever you want. Go for a local traditional restaurant or go to McDonald's. Whatever you like to do on holiday, go for it. So let's check out the prices here, viewers. We've got grilled swordfish, fourteen ninety-five. Oh, good deal. Hello there. Hello, sir. Hello. How how are you? Good. How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well. What's your name? Crystal. Crystal. Chris. Chris. Okay. And how long has your restaurant been here? Uh, Thirty-four years. Thirty-four years. Wow. That must be one of the oldest restaurants here. Um, you, you must be here a long time, one, yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. one of the oldest restaurants, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your speciality? What, what should we order? Anything you like. We have Greek dishes, we have pastas, pizzas and everything. Everything? Okay. Hello. <laughs> right, let's go, viewers. Have a look, sir. Have a look. I'll have a look at the menu, Thank, thank you. Our price and check out with sir. Yeah, soup of the day, 4 75 prom cocktail, yeah. 6 75 We promise to the people something excellent. The best Paraguay. The best? If not, you don't pay me. Okay. Yes, and I mean it. That's a good guarantee. So the best, or you yes. don't pay. Okay. Hello, I appreciate Hello. that. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. Have a nice walk. We'll pop into Oscars, okay? Oscar. Oscar. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, pop in there. That restaurant's been there 34 years. It must be good. Anybody who's an expert in Protaris, let me know. Have you been in that restaurant? Menu look nice. I was having to be chatting there. I didn't want to keep chatting because he had customers going by and wanted to speak to people. There's Joker Square. Uh, live entertainment, live band on tonight. Thanks to the viewers let me know that. I think it was Diane on Facebook. Let me know that. I'll pop in and see what they're like later on. Half past nine. The great thing about this is so compact. This wee strip. Full English breakfast all day. Start from five euros. Okay. So that's a bargain. Half hour. How much is a cocktail going to cost you? Three euros. There you go. How can they do this? <laughs> Three euros to ten o'clock. That's unbelievable, isn't it? So this is called the Greenery. Okay, they've also got pints from two euros fifty. Leon, and you get a big bottle for three euros. They've got the beer bucket where you get four and you get one free. So it's very, very affordable, and it's location A right on the strip, right at the start of it. That's the other local beer, Keo. I think I prefer Leon, but I can drink both of them. I'm not funny. I'm not really that fussed about it. Uh, Carlsberg next to it. I'm not keen on. I wouldn't drink that if I had to. Um, mojitos. Anything else? Just tells you what they've got on tap here. All the bars here have got Stella, Carlin, Peroni, Thatcher, Strongwood. They all seem to have quite a good selection of draft beers. There's a few with Red Speckle 10. Um, or Old Speckle 10, sorry. Getting a wee bit mixed up, a bit tired today. Old Speckle 10, my dad would like that. On tap, Guinness as well, of course. Coors, don't know why they've got Coors, but they've got Coors as well, okay. Cocktails, 3 euros. Mojitos, Pint of Leon, 2.50. Showing all the football. Coffee and cake, 4 euros. So if you don't drink, I found something for you as well. So there you go, that's the greenery. Check it out. Guys from the greenery, leave me a wee comment. I'm trying to promote your bar for you, okay. Now here's the next one we're going to. All these bars for live sports. This is quite good. I'm going to be able to show you all the prices here. What's the name of this bar? Flora Bar. Okay, I think it's part of a hotel actually. 
all day dining and sports bar. Let's check it out. So, pint of Leon is 280 here. Pint of Keo is three. That's good for the Strayer. Obviously, it's imported 350. I paid six euros and I and a strip for a pint of Australia. Carlsberg is three euros. That should be Carlin, but they've got it down as Garlin. <laughs> Coors Light, Heineken. Magnus pint 450. That's not bad, is it? And Guinness is five euros. Probably the same price you pay back home. It's not too bad. Let's see what else they got. Strawberry daiquiri. Do you fancy this? I've got some friends that like that. On the golf chat, strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> you martini there as well. Bucket of Corona. Uh, if you buy five, you get one free because it's it's not the best. They give you one free. <laughs> oh, here we go. Their own lager. They've got their own lager. Never mind the Leon. This is the cheapest pint I found in the strip. Two euros fifty, I believe. If we go further out of Protaris, there is ones at two euros. We'll see if I can find it. Fish and chips, twelve euros fifty. Anything else? Anything else coming up? We've got a set menu as well. Big menu there. So that's the Flora Bar. Quite nice. Hiya. Yeah, right. yeah, not bad, you? Yeah. Good. A lot of TVs in there, pool tables, nice bar. Very affordable. All day dining, wonder what time it shuts at. Pims as well. Aim to drink Pims. I thought you just drink that at Wimbledon. It's popular here. Let's continue, viewers. Now, again, part of the flora, we've got sandwiches, coffees, sweets, crepes, pizzas, all sorts going on here. Let's check it out, viewers. I'll try and cover it, because I know not everybody's obviously drinking alcohol, so I'll try and show you everything. Breakfast from 5.50, burgers, 9.95, comes with chips as well. Pizza, 9.50, platters for two, waffles, crepes, ice creams. Milkshakes 350. So it's very affordable considering we're right on the centre of the strip. The prices here are pretty good. Now, if you're looking for something more authentic, we've got George's Tavern here as well. We've got a maize, fish maize, and meat as well. So let's check out prices along here. I've got it for two there, 4950. Check this guy out. Kids menu as well. So quite an extensive, we've got lobster platters as well. Hello. Here we go. Quite a few people in, very colourful restaurant, looks nice. Let's continue. We've got another bar around the corner here called Waves. I've not really been down this street. Let's see if I can go down it. Hold on, viewers. Viewers, I'm waiting to cross the road. Um, let me know in the comments, do you like these videos where I show you the menu and the drinks prices? I know a lot of people are on budgets, and even if you're not on budgets, sometimes you're just nosy about prices, you want to see how much a resort costs. And sometimes it can make a difference. If you're here on a two week holiday, I reckon some resorts are up to 50% more expensive than others. Imagine you go to Port of Venus for two weeks, you'd be bankrupt. Remember my 10 euro pint in there? My God, oh, I still not recovered from that. To be fair, I went to Amsterdam and it was nearly the same price. Let's cross the road. Okay, so Waves have got live music on some days as well. They also serve food and they show all the football. Oh, this is a wee menu. I've not got my glasses on. I can't see but from a distance. English breakfast is 6.20 here. Let's see what else they've got. Flame Grill burgers. And they've got uh, cheeseburgers from 8 euros. Chicken burgers, 7.80. Not bad. Jacket potatoes, 7 80 as well, and I've got a kids' menu from under 5 euros. Very, very affordable. They've got all the games on there as well. Uh, I met some guys earlier on from Leeds, and they were telling me this guy is brilliant. It's called Jay Mercury. I'll try and catch him at one point tonight. I'll pop in. Get a wee drink. There's the opening hours there, the kitchen opening time. So you need to make sure you're ordered before 10 o'clock. So that is Waves. Looks like a nice bar as well inside. Uh, I've not been right down here, so I don't know what's down here. There is a few hotels down here. Give me a wee second, viewers, to decide what to do. Supermarket there as well. I don't know if I get away with doing a supermarket video, going in and actually filming all around there. There's the Blue Ivy Hotel and Suites. Location is brilliant. All the hotels next to this strip are brilliant locations. Also got the Mandalay as well. I nearly booked that one as well. 
My flight tomorrow is at 10 o'clock at night. If I could get a cheap enough apartment, I'm considering booking an apartment. The hotel says I wouldn't maybe get a late checkout room. And if I did, they're probably going to charge me at least 20 euros to keep it to 2 or 3 o'clock. I seen apartments here last night for about 30 euros. It depends how far away they are. And I could keep that up to 6 o'clock. I mean, I could go about and do videos. Just kind of bored walking about, been sweating and then having nobody to shower and stuff. So we'll see. What's this here? Barbecue chicken wings, 12.50. We've got a wee Mexican restaurant here. Look what I found you, viewers. A wee Mexican restaurant, what's it called? Los Hermonas. Okay, next door, we've got the Matador shop. I don't know if there's anything else down there. Beautiful down there at the beach, mind you. Let's head back up, viewers. Okay, viewers. New viewers, if it's your first time, picking this video on YouTube you're still watching. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. My name's Kevin, I do a lot of walks in tourist resorts. We started in Tenerife, that's why the channel's called that. And now we go to all different places. I try and show you all your favourite places of what you'd like to see. A lot of the time as well I get people commenting saying that they used to go to Prataris or they used to go to Tenerife or Benidorm, maybe they can't go because of health reasons and they love to see what it's like today. So do me a wee favour, if you're enjoying the videos, all I ask is you hit the wee subscribe button, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost anything, it just gives me a wee vote of confidence that I'm doing something okay. You don't need to subscribe, it doesn't cost anything, it doesn't really make much difference to me to be honest with you, but it just helps the channel grow a wee bit. We're over 44,000 subscribers and if we can grow a wee bit more, I can maybe get to new destinations, further away even, and maybe show you some different places, so I'd really, really appreciate that. Hold on, I'll wait just now to do it. Okay, so if you're on your phone, just click the wee subscribe button right there. If you're on your TV, scroll across to the left. I was, uh, get my words mixed up there. Scroll across to the left. Click the wee camera icon there. Click OK and it'll say you want to subscribe to the channel. Of course it's free, just click OK as well. It's getting too excited there, viewers asking you to subscribe. <laughs> Travel and tours place over there. I've got no idea about trips here, don't know nothing about it. Um, maybe one day I'll come back and I'll get some trip information for you. Um, do you remember that film, Porky's? Porky's Restaurant Cafe, let's go over and see it. Be quick, because there's a bus coming. I still need to figure out how to get to the airport tomorrow. So we've got mixed grilled platters for one person, 15.90. The best? You, you guarantee? Okay. Number one? Yes. Okay, how long how long have you been open? 37 years, sir. 37 years? Oh, yes. Wow, that's a long time. Okay, thank what you. What, what's your speciality? What's the best dish? Me, personally. Yeah, best dish. Uh, you mean the restaurant? What is the best Yeah, food? yeah. Best ones we have is mixed grill, we have the best ribs, we have uh, some special combos with meat. You okay. Try. There's many we have. Many. Okay, so mixed grills, meats, ribs, combos. Yes, yes, okay, yes. what's your name? Icarus. Carlos? Icarus. Yes. Icarus, okay, I'm Kevin. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, Kevin. thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Thank you, bye bye. Okay, viewers, there we go. So, 37 years. There's some restaurants been here a long, long time on this trip. Right, another wee family arcade bit for you, some rides and fairground rides, stuff like that as well. Covering everything in this video, there's absolutely everything covering it. Nice wee fountain here as well. So my hotel's not too far down here. Not so a lot of people going out about with these. They're not segways, but they've added a seat to them. Quite clever. I'm going down that way to my hotel. I'm going for dinner. Oh, there's a hotel there. The Odessa Beach Hotel. That's the one I'm in. I'm looking forward to dinner, actually. I'm starving. I'll let you know what it's like. Obviously, I'll try and do a video and show you what it's like. Um, good location, that hotel. If you're coming here, the room's nice. I've not tried out anything else. I can't tell you if the, the food's nice. The swimming pool area is nice, and you're right next to the beach. So it's not bad. 
Okay viewers, I'm away for dinner. I'm not going in any of those places because I've already booked dinner in the hotel, which is very unlike me. Do me a wee favour on your way out, hit the wee subscribe button, hope you found the video useful and let me know what's your favourite out of all the places that I showed you. Thank you so much. Quite like Pretaris, I definitely would come back here. Definitely would. Thanks for watching viewers, see you in the next one.